Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. There was a developer town hall recently focusing on the Banu, as well as some information released when they talked about the Defender 2. So today we're going to go through the Banu race and some of their ships and stuff like that and talk about uh, some bits and bobs with them. Some basics on the Banu first. The Banu were the first race that humanity met. They enjoy a peaceful and friendly relationship full of trade and cultural exchange. Banu are best known for being an industrious people, good at business, trade, craft, as well as being very materialistic. The Banu have a societal structure that combines both family and the human kind of corporation and business into a single unit. The Soli, so I assuming that's actually from the Greek name Soli, um, often translated as guild, please correct me if I'm getting the word wrong. Uh, the Soli is the foundation for life in the Protectorate where Banu work and live together. Each Soli specialises in a specific industry and this can kind of widely um, change from trade, ship manufacturer, even childcare and education. There is a Soli for everything and in this way Banu can be seen to be specialists in everything they do. Banu enjoy relaxing too, from gambling, sports as well, like Satterball, um, where they will typically cheer for both sides as they enjoy the competition rather than being attached to any one team. Banu markets and bazaars are considered to be the best in the verse. They are exotic, full of good items and interesting uh, things the Banu have from um, themselves and other alien species. These marketplaces form the centres of Banu cities. Dining in a Soli, um, so like their restaurants I suppose, um, uh, and the hospitality that you would get from um, trading with the Banu is kind of traditional. Um, so this uh, it can take the form of large communal meals where Banu like to eat with their hands or drinking sloma um, where each of the traders that had come together would have added an ingredient to to brew this alcoholic beverage which can be quite strong. Uh, the most comprehensive historians of the Banu culture are actually humans it seems. Um, and only really go back as far as the first interactions that humans have had with them. Banu believe that you should live in the present and as such technological um, and technical knowledge is preserved until they come across some form of better design or a better way of doing something but other facts like um, historical events, figures, um, even their own homeworld have been lost to the ages. Um, they don't really keep any form of um, practical notes or books or anything other than what they preserve with technical knowledge. Uh, Banu hearing is very poor compared to humans, so noise level around their ships and cities can be quite high, and this might actually mean they speak quite loudly too. Um, many Banu will deal with you honestly, but they expect visitors to look after themselves, and you're kind of responsible for your own security around their ships and cities. If you experience a crime, you're expected to hire a security Sully to investigate the matter. Uh, they may take a percentage of the goods that have been stolen from you, for example, um, as their fee. One of the biggest dangers that humans can encounter in the Banu Protectorate is slavery. That they kind of advise the humans in law to avoid the slave, so servant markets of kins too for this very reason. However, um, if you're captured by Banu slavers, you will most likely be op offered the opportunity to purchase your own freedom. There are a few companies that also offer travellers slavery insurance in case of an emergency. I'm interested to see how that comes um, forth in game. Um, obviously, slavery and insurance is quite hot topics for Star Citizen constantly. Uh, the Banu are loosely based on the Persian Empire as well, as the UEE are kind of based on the falling of Rome, I suppose, um, with barbarians at the gates. Uh, trading with the Banu. So negotiation is are a must, don't accept their first offer. Item quality and value varies drastically um, from solly to solly, um, so shop around. Once a deal is made, it is considered final. Double check terms before confirming. Banny were quite transient, they move shops and locations frequently, so if you like something that you see, buy it. A lot of the stuff you'll see might be unique. The town hall. So let's talk a bit about the specifics of the town hall because they did answer a lot of questions, not just about the Banu and their ships, but some other bits as well. So during the town hall, the Banu merchantman's size was discussed. It's currently planned now to be approximately as big as a Polaris Corvette, which is 155 metres long. So expect it to be around that length, in my opinion, maybe a bit taller and wider um, as that sort of cargo ship yeah, you would kind of expect. Um, you should be able to buy Vandal and other alien goods from the Banu. Uh, they like to have um, 
they'd like to have these trade centers in game where you could buy various goods from the verse eventually and um, all around like the banu settlements and that sort of stuff there are banu that might have issues with humans but as a race they are generally very friendly with each other they haven't fleshed out the banu language fully yet uh, or their first person shooter weapons um that's something they will be doing in the future the human compatible ships have had their metrics or internals altered and um, for humans so that's not an issue so when we see like the defender that's been altered for humans um so uh, cockpits, when they do that, um, can be a challenge because of converting them from alien to human use. And you might see alien versions of the same ships in game and that sort of stuff as well. Uh, repairs and components in alien ships, in a lot of cases, will be replaceable um, for more common parts. So you're not going to have to travel across the universe to repair your ship in all situations or in most situations. Banu don't share the same style of parenting as humans. When a child is born, they're sold off to the state to encourage brotherhood, uh, as you don't know who your family is, and therefore anyone could be your family, and everyone is therefore your family. When a Banu reaches a certain age, they're assigned a career and focus based on their talents. The Defender and other ships uh, may be able to land and dock within the Banu Merchantmen. They'll know more once the ships are fully fleshed out and and built out and and they have all of the the size and everything if it fits it sits or sits it fits you know what i mean and um, some ships will almost certainly therefore be able to land in a banu um banu have a better survivability uh, than humans when it comes to environments um so um certain humans um that they might not be able to go to a planet that will be lethal, but they're survivable to the Banu. Um, the Banu kind of typically will build areas for humans to survive on planets so they can trade with them, though. Uh, the intention is for you to be able to hire Banu and alien crewmen for your ships. Um, when an agreement is made for, like, in, in regards to a democracy and... Um, uh, that sort of stuff, it's tied to the Solly. And when the Solly dies, a new agreement is renewed. Um, so... Because of how many times uh, Banu have had to renew agreements and agreements they've made through trade, they've gotten quite good at diplomacy. They haven't decided how borders of the Xi'an and Kerfak, um, like or alien space, will work if you go between them um, in regards to um, hostility and moving around. Uh, a personal expectation of mine, though, is that reputation in pretty much all situations will trump. Um, so if you have a great reputation with a particular Xi'an faction or whatever, they're going to let you roam in their space relatively unrestricted, as if you're one of their species or an enforcer or whatever. If you've got like a pristine um, kind of record with them. Um, but conversely, if you're um, unknown to them or you're a, a criminal um, that they know about, then they may be just hostile, fire on sight kind of thing. Um, Banu conversely as well, uh, quite like people in their space. It's trade season all year. Um, they will be, um, there will be populated Banu landing zones uh, and planets like hero style locations that are very, very well detailed. The Tavaran have a uh, kind of distance to themselves and try to get away and forget their history. Um, the Banu enjoy competition in life, in sports like Satterball and that sort of stuff as well. We talked about that a bit earlier. Technology wise, Banu tend to Grab what works best for them. If they like another race's technology and it suits them better, they'll use it in their designs and kind of replace older tech or different tech that doesn't work so well. Um, there was a few bits talked about the Defender too. We will discover um, and um, talk about these a bit more once the FAQ about the ship has been released um, on Thursday and Friday. Um, but... Um, you can replace the gimbals with four size three fixed weapons. Uh, it's capable of doing like hit and run attacks, that defender. Uh, the Devaran shields do give it some um, added protection against ballistic attacks, so it's not entirely just dead if it's getting ballistic attacked um, at close range. The cockpit visibility is going to receive some love. They, they aren't going to release um, that ship with the arms blocking its view, so don't worry too much about that. But Wait until the FAQ. We'll talk more about the Defender then. Um, and that was kind of it for the Town Hall and the recent info drops on the Banu. Um, every month, one of my subscribers can win a ship for April. It's the Drake Buccaneer. So please subscribe and then comment below um, to, to have a chance to win. Um, tell me what you think about the Banu. Are you going to have alien crews on your ship? Do you like the Hyper Vanguard Force music intro and outro on my videos, or should I remove it? Feel free to ask me any questions too. A massive thank you to my patrons who helped me keep my channel going. Your added support lets me make 
large amounts of content all the time and should allow for me to do some pretty cool stuff in the future. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon as well as seeing all the other sources that we talked about here um, and infos, please look at the links below. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as it really does help me and I will see you in the verse.